Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you the final game of the North American team battle. It is the Super Ace match. It is a Jayun going up against Gypsy. A best of one TVP on Eclipse to see will Team Zerg being represented by Jayun or Team Terran and Protosses represented by Gypsy take home this ultimate battle. Uh, definitely, I would say that so far, Gypsy has been uh, the MVP of his team. We'll see if he can carry them all the way to victory now. Of course, his teammates put up some great games as well. Jayun's teammates, I think especially uh, Striker, showed some, some really awesome plays and uh, had some clutch victories in there as well. But yeah, okay, so we have, uh, we have Terran vs. Protoss on Eclipse. And, uh, well, we saw last time Jayun did not even scout until he had a Dragoon. So, I mean, he might go for something like that again. He might go for something like a Nexus first. It's really hard to say. Uh, Gypsy, oh, man, the pressure is on. It looks like he started his depot here. But actually, you have to start it here. Because then your barracks won't fit. Like, if it's too close and your barracks won't fit, you don't have a good Sim City. Whereas, with this, if you're being proxy gated, you destroy... Like, this bottom left position, it's really easy to hold Zealot Rushes on. So I'm actually kind of glad to see James not Zealot Rushing. Uh, I would say if Gypsy was top right, Zealot Rush becomes, like, four times better. Not even kidding. Uh, but yeah, this position with this type of layout, it's really hard for Zealots to do anything at all. So Gypsy, you can see, he actually sends out a very early scout and checks the top right here. You gotta check to make sure there's not gates in your main, because if there's gates in your main, not even this will save you. <laughs> You'll just end up dying to that. Okay. So, ah, Jayun comes out, makes the Nexus. It's a gateway Nexus. So this is a very new metagame move where it's very similar to the build that we saw Gypsy open with last game, but on the other side where you go gateway, then Nexus, and then you make a Zealot, right? So it's kind of in between. It's kind of like one of these gasless expands, like the 15cc from uh, Terran. And... Like, the Zealot, basically, you try to put pressure on your opponent immediately across the map. Now, that being said, Gypsy just throws down his own command center in response, which I don't think is a bad move. But with the Zealot coming in, you have to take that really, really seriously, right? Like, he's got to make a depot. He's got to make a bunker. He's got to go Marines nonstop. So, while I think that this is a doable thing and can be strong, uh, it makes me a little bit nervous. Because, well, I guess since Jane is only making a single Zealot, it's not going to be quite as hard. But, like, the Zealot, for instance, can run right by the bunker. And then you got to pull them out. And if there's a second one on the way, that can be a problem. But maybe because it's this build, uh, Gypsy's aware that he's going to get a little bit of a supply block here. So you're not going to see that second Zealot. Okay, the Zealot coming down. And, oh, great blocking with this SV. Gets a ton of extra damage there. And, of course, the Marines have to come now. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of a mess up with that uh, SCV to lose it. And Gypsy just fighting straight up against the Zealot. The Zealot should probably turn and see if it can get more hits. But I guess he's going to walk forward. He sees the gas just being started. So has a pretty good idea of where Gypsy is at here. Third Marine pops out. And down goes this Zealot. No losses there except for the single Marine and the single Zealot. Oh, a little offensive eBay to kind of block some of this probe mining. Not the biggest deal in the world again. Uh, your range is going to be pretty late, so the Dragoon can come out and just kind of kill this off over time. Of course, you'll cancel it, so you get back a decent amount of those minerals. Now, both of them went for very fast expansions and have later tech because of it. And this becomes an interesting game from here because it's like, okay, what do you want to do? And I think it's especially interesting the choices from Protoss. Are you going to tech up on two bases or are you going to just make a third Nexus? Now we see the second gas. So it seems like he's going to tech up, like maybe go Robo and then a third. I would love to see him go into Reaver from here, honestly, but Gypsy on the other side Going double factory, that's going to be pretty standard from this spot. Uh, you can just, against greedy plays, you get way too far behind if you try to do something like armory. And honestly, you don't need to. Your expansion is so fast that you can support the two factories and still get a pretty quick armory anyways. 
engineering bay going up here for Gypsy, as he doesn't have that much intel. Jayun, I, he's mining gas, but what are we going to do with that gas? We haven't seen quite yet. Dragoon's going across the map. Looks like he wants to put pressure on the bunker. Of course, always a nice move. See if Gypsy gets that siege mode. I definitely think it's uh, not a bad choice to get siege mode quickly in these situations. No, I guess he's not. Okay. He does have four, bunk uh, four Marines in this bunker this time, so you can't ignore this bunker quite as much as you could previously, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, tanks being microed here can do a lot more than if you have two Marines in the bunker because the Dragoons will take significant damage if they run up. All right, so some pressure on this bunker. Jayun looks to be getting ready to take his third base. Of course, like, we do have the uh, quicker Robo this time. We'll see if he wants to go Observer right away or go... Yeah, see, this is exactly... See, this is so much like that previous game. Uh, but notice that, like, he walks up. He does have the four tanks that double shot a tank. All right, the four goons that double shot a tank. But he walks up, takes the hit, runs back. And then the four... It's like, well, you can chase, but what if he turns and goes up the ramp quick? You're not going to get him. And you're going to be taking huge amounts of damage on these Dragoons. All right, more tanks coming out. Speed and mines on the way. So it looks like Gypsy wants to get aggressive here. More Dragoons being sent across. Ah, look at this positioning. So it looks like he's just trying to catch any Vultures coming out right now, or any Scouts in general coming out right now. More Goons. Observer on the way. No real intel, though. Armory coming up. Yeah, pretty solid. Like, one thing to mention is that Gypsy didn't feel completely safe, so instead of Academy, he did go for turrets. So he is having to make the ring because he just doesn't have the intel. He has, like, just no idea if there's a shuttle on the way. He doesn't know if there's a third base up, that type of thing. Now, the way he's walking, this is a really tricky move, where you walk around the map. We see a pile on here, so Jayun knows about this move. But what you do is, if you can get in position right about here, and especially if you have an SCV little turret, you can very quickly push up to this area and gain a lot of control. Oh, he actually skips that out and goes up the ramp immediately. So he's actually behind three of the goons. Vulture's going to rally up, but he is going to start to attack. The goons are going to be able to come back. Okay, let's see how this goes. The goons of Jayun are so spread out. If they were all together, he could fight this, but... They are everywhere right now and running into some of these mines as well. Mines going down. The Marines tanking a lot here for those siege tanks. Tanks being micro forward brilliantly here. But from every side, the Dragoons come in and the tanks get eliminated. Gypsy with kind of the sneaky move there. But was, was that enough? Well, you know what? Actually, he's over here getting a good amount of probes during this. So, yeah, I think it actually might be. Dropping down to 44 probes at the moment. Not the end of the world yet for Jayun, but definitely good moment here for Gypsy. I would definitely give those siege tanks to get this many probes. All right, Vulture's going to run up here, see what else they can get. Okay, a couple more probes fall. More Vultures running in. Going to lay those mines down. Those have to be dealt with before the Vultures, so he's going to be able to maybe pick up these last two probes that are in the natural. Okay, very nice. Another probe as it pops out as well. And now going to run out of here. Looks like we do have the full wall here uh, for, for Jayun. Let's take a look at Gypsy's base. He's added to the third factory. Command center on the way. Starport on the way. Oh, all looking very, very nice. Does walk a single Marine up, which is hilarious. <laughs> That's the one funny thing about these walls. If you have Marines, you can just walk them into those third bases. And oftentimes, Protoss doesn't have anything but probes to fight them. But anyways, uh, looks like Reavers are coming now. Fireworks could ensue. Yeah, looks like we have speed for the shuttle as well. So that's going to give him some potential, right? Like, it, it takes quite a few turrets to actually gun that down. Gypsy right now, though, adding quite a few factories. His macro definitely on point. He's got Goliaths mixed in. And, oh wow, Charon boosters are almost done. As well as four tanks of siege mode, uh, with siege mode done already, rather. Some missile turrets. 
I mean, he's got a lot of potential here for defending this. I don't think the shuttle's going to do that much. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, he almost gets, like, the best shot ever on the Reaver, and instead it just damages some. Oh, God. The range... Oh, no. That's... That's not good. Okay, so the Reaver is gone. The shuttle is gone. He put a lot of money into that. Right? Like, he lost a lot of probes. He was getting uh, shuttle speed. Now he's got this Reaver with nothing to carry it around. He's adding his gates now. Third base going up here for Gypsy. Setting up some missile turrets as well. Comsats going up all over the place. Very, very late Comsats, but it's been a crazy game like that. So I don't think it actually matters this, this time. Uh, other than the fact that obviously he had to make a bunch of turrets early on. Yeah, it's not like he's going to scan and find anything that he's like, Oh, damn, I wish I already had those turrets up. He's he's basically seen what Jayun has. Now, Zealot Legs are on the way. What is the actual supply here of the army? It seems like Gypsy's army is pretty significantly better. We don't have those legs. Okay, here comes a shuttle, and he is making a second shuttle. Laying some mines down. Oh, he's got to pull these back immediately. These goons going to get absolutely slaughtered. Dealing a ton of damage there. Going to kill at least one. All right, going to end up killing quite a bit more than one. The Zell walking forward here to tank some of this. Does a good job of that. Oh, God. Walking to that mine. Not the right move. Okay, he does gun it down. Gets up here now. Drops the Reaver out. Let's see what those Scarab hits. It's not going to be enough. Everything getting absolutely splattered. GG is called. And it looks like Team Terran and Protoss is going to take down the NA team battle.